Welcome to the Creative Pugza. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a retro text effect in Affinity Photo. We'll be creating a text effect look that's from the 1960s. A lot of fonts from the 1960s were very playful and decorative. Also, some fonts, like the one that we'll be using in this video, use swatches, which are exaggerated serifs, tails, strokes, etc. In addition, the decorative font was used in many things such as posters and advertisements. As for colors, the text and designs of the 60s were filled with bright colors. First, go to File New. The size of the document doesn't matter, but I set the size to 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. Set the DPI to 72. Next, grab the Artistic Text tool from the Tools panel. Click on the document and type out your text. I'm going to use the word Retro. With the Move tool, place the text in the center of the document. Turn Snapping on to do this. Select the text. Then, go to the Font family and choose the font you want to use. Since we're doing the 60s, find a font that's similar to text from that time. The font I use is called Price Down. You can find a link to download this font in the video's description. Go to the Swatches panel and set the field to FBE248. Now, grab the Rectangular tool from the Tools panel. Draw a rectangle that covers the document. Drag the rectangle beneath the text in the Layers panel. Go to the Swatches panel. Double click on the fill color to bring up the color chooser. I set the rectangle to the following hex code C3A79A. In choosing the color palette that's going to be used in this tutorial, I googled 1960s color palette and picked colors from the era that I like. You can choose to create your own 60s color palette. After that, select the retro text. Then, press Ctrl and J three times to make three duplicates of the text. You should have a total of four text layers. Select the first text layer and label it green. We'll label the layers with the colors we want to apply to them. In the Layers panel, click the FX icon and check the Outline box and select it. Go to Color and select the RGB hex sliders. Set the color to the following hex code, 00BD75. Next, set the radius to 5 pixels. By default, the blend mode should be normal, opacity 100%, alignment outside, and fill style is solid color. Also, make sure you check the Scale with Object box so that when you resize the text, the layer effect will scale with it too. We'll apply these steps to the other text layers and change the radius and color of the outline. This is similar to applying multiple strokes to text. Now, select the text layer right beneath the green layer. Label it pink or whatever color you want to use. Click the FX icon to check the outline box. Set the color to DD367C. Then set the radius to 10 pixels. Check the scale with object box. Next, select the text layer beneath the pink layer. Label it orange. Now click the FX icon and check outline. Set the color to F9AB3E. Then set the radius to 15 pixels. You can set the radius to something different if you want, depending on how thick or skinny you want the outline to be. Check Scale with Object. After that, select the text layer below the orange layer and label it blue. Click the FX icon and check Outline. Set the color to 2D758D and the radius to 30 pixels. Then check Scale with Object. Now select everything. Next, go to the Layers panel and right click on the selected layers. Click Merge Visible. Turn off all of the other layers. Select the Merge layer. Go to the Filters menu and click on Noise, Add Noise. Set the radius to 30 pixels. Select Gaussian and check the monochromatic box. Once you've done that, go to File Open and drag the texture image you downloaded onto the document. Make sure it's at the top of everything. Go to the Transform panel and turn on the Lock Aspect Ratio. Then resize the image. 
With the texture layer selected, go to the Filters menu. Then go to Noise, Add Noise, and set the radius to 50 pixels. In the Layers panel, set the Blend Mode of the layer to Multiply, and lower the opacity to 50%. The noise and the texture gives this an aged effect, which adds to our retro look. And this is how to create a retro text effect in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching.